feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment, that's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Don't move a muscle. The excitement is coming up next on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And coming up, pulsating action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Granada against Girona. Well, thanks, Derek. These away fans come here with a lot of hope. They've certainly had a decent start to the season. They've played with a lot of energy and skill. However, they need to just improve in one or two areas. Could be! Can they slot it home? So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And the starting 11 for Girona. Daly Blint plays with Juanpe in central defence and a formidable striker in this setup in the person of Christian Stuani. And a struggle for Granada to keep the ball. Borja Garcia. Christian Stuani. Well read to win possession back. Well, good run and good ball control. Has eyes for goal. Determined defending. Let's see about the delivery. And the problem not completely solved. Brilliantly blocked. Daly Blint. Tony Villa. And on to Villa. Working so hard to win back possession. Well, for Girona, you have to conclude everything went to plan in the win against Osasuna. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, that's a new victory. Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. again with the score line standing at 1-0 Alex Garcia well, gifting away possession Alonso he might be able to profit from the wide position dangerous ball and stopping the danger. Oh, the moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Yeah. <laughs> 
So back underway following the equaliser. And he read it superbly. Alonso. And the ball is loose. Well, another wonderful save to add to his portfolio. Borja Garcia. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. Tony Villa. Valeri. To take the lead. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. So there we have it. 2-1. Weissmann. Alonso. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, possibilities in the centre. Very quick thinking there. Now, oh, maybe room here for the counter attack. Tony Villa. Running with the ball confidently. And on to Villa. It might be. And it goes. That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Mirto Uzuni moving into the advanced position well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Borja Garcia well read to win possession back The defenders know they need to get tighter. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Neva. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Tony Villa. On to Estuani. And that is going to be all for the first half here at the Nuevo Estadio de los Carmenes. Well, there's overall contribution from midfield, chock full of positives. No getting away from that, Stuart. Well, what a display from him. Lots of touches, some great passes and an assist. He's been absolutely brilliant today.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. It should be! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Playing it in. And Granada regaining possession. Well, we have a mouth-watering tussle from La Liga coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Granada, and they'll be facing Mallorca. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Plenty of options. Great opportunity. What a vital intervention. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Who can he pick out? Fruitful looking attack. Borja Garcia. Oh, big opportunity. Well, in the final analysis, not quite precise enough. Goal kick here. Weissmann. Bumbau. A very effective challenge put in. Big chance. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And easily intercepted. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hatful of goals here. And into the last 30 minutes now. They've lost it. An exciting La Liga match in prospect here on EA TV. It's Girona, and they take on Rayo Vallecano. Credit to them for winning back possession. Alex Garcia. Oh, that's a fine-looking pass. Uzuni. He's enjoying space. Could play it in. And it's gone behind for the corner. And they will make the change now. Played over. It could be up for grabs. And problem solved for now. Ivan Martin. Good high press. Oh, he's given it away. Could be. And the post getting in the way. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Mikel. Uzuni. 
Pretty good wide play. And the problem not completely solved. A gift for any goalkeeper. Arnaud Martinez. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Teammates available. Lucas Boyer. Intercepting it intelligently. Villar. Well, moving the ball around nicely as they try to get themselves back within a goal. Granada recovering possession well. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. And the substitution will occur now. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Perfect tackle. Feeding it through. He might be able to make it through. Well, marginally wide. So, so close. the ball away and the referee blows the whistle it is a free kick not high quality defending Is this the moment? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. He's driven in the corner. Just couldn't get it through. corner played into the box no trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned Weissmann well, taking into account all the stoppages three minutes to be added on well, the pass not finding its target Artem Dovbik And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visiting fans. Three points for them. Well, today I thought they looked a good side. They were quick to the ball, they were bright going forward, and they were hard to play against. They just need to keep it going now. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.